I exfoliate my face, I exfoliate my body. So why not my scalp? Yeah, you, you know what it do. You want the one, I want no one but you, my love. What's good you guys? Thanks for coming to my channel. Thanks for watching my video. I am Nilsa and today I want to talk about scalp scrubs. I get this reminder to wash my hair right back here. I mean it start itching y'all and if I go longer than about a week and a half without washing my hair it actually start making sores back there pretty disgusting. If you watch my previous videos, you know I talk a lot about alopecia areata because I dealt with it for like eight or nine years out of my life. Maintaining a healthy scalp is an important part of actually growing your hair back or just growing your hair in general. You know I hear a lot of people say doing scalp scrubs are unnecessary because your scalp actually gets clean when you wash your hair. But I look at it like this. I wash my face twice a day and I take a shower once a day, but I still do facial exfoliants and I still do body scrubs. And then on top of that, if you think about it, we be wearing ponytails, braids, wigs, weaves. We put all types of products on top of our hair, suffocating our scalp. If you wash your hair once a week, and some people don't even wash their hair that often, like you should actually do a little bit more for your scalp. Now, scalp scrubs are beneficial with increasing circulation, detoxing, pulling bacteria and excess buildup off your scalp, and it actually helps with removing dandruff. By the way, if you are getting any value out of this video, go ahead and tap that like button and subscribe. I am on the road to 1K and I definitely want to hear if you guys are doing any scalp scrubs yourselves. So what do I put in my scrub? It really comes down to three ingredients. First, sea salt. This is a great exfoliant and I use a fine grain because I want to make sure it is very gentle on my scalp. Another positive benefit about sea salt is it has detoxing properties. Next, I use a cleansing oil. I like to use grapeseed oil because I feel like it is very good at removing excess buildup. If you don't know much about cleansing oils, I did make a video about it. Make sure you go ahead and check that out and I will leave that link in the description below. And then the last thing, I call this category extras. Anytime I'm making something that has anything to do with scalp or my hair, I'm throwing rosemary in there because rosemary is great at fighting free radicals and actually increasing circulation. After mixing it all together, you know, I go ahead and grab my big old spray bottle and a couple of clips. And then of course, I just part my hair into four sections. Now in this video, I actually had a little bit more hair. Uh, you know, I had to cut my hair today. That's a whole nother story and it's going to be in another video. But anyways, I parted my hair into four sections and I sprayed a little bit of water on my hair, but I really focused on my scalp, getting my scalp nice and wet because I wanted to make sure it was no friction when I was running that scrub across my scalp. Now in each of the bigger four sections, I went ahead and made about four smaller parts because I really want to make sure I got it evenly across my whole scalp. When I'm done putting the scrub on my scalp, I do just a little gentle massage, you know, emphasis on gentle. You don't want to cause any abrasions and you don't want to mess up any of your hair follicles. When I'm done massaging my whole scalp. I go ahead and let it sit for about 10, 20, sometimes 30 or 40, um, yeah. I like to let it sit because I want that sea salt to really do some detoxing on my scalp, getting that extra bacteria off. When I'm done, whatever time frame I choose, I go ahead and jump in the shower and I wash my hair, condition it, and then I moisturize it and oil it as normal. That's pretty much it. You know, when I'm done doing that, my scalp feels uh, amazing. If you are having issues with alopecia areata, go ahead and check this video out. It is my initial video. It goes to a lot of detail about it. Hope this helps. Until next time. Bye.